Hey growers, what's up? It's Lucas and some of my peppers are really starting to outgrow their seed cell trays. So today I'm gonna to be transplanting them and showing you guys how I do this. It's a very simple process. Uh, it's pretty foolproof if you just do what I'm gonna be doing in this video. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So to transplant the seedlings, you're gonna need some sort of container. Now you can use a standard nursery container or you can just use some cups like these. These are just plastic nine ounce cups and they'll do the trick just fine. So if you do end up going the cup route, you're gonna have to cut drainage holes in the bottom of each of these cups because you don't want water to be pooling in the bottom and sitting there because that'll potentially rot the roots of your plants. So for the drainage holes, there's a number of different methods you could use. You could uh, drill the bottom with uh, a drill bit or the method I like to use just uses some sort of scissors or shears. Now you could use just regular old scissors for this. However, if you're gonna be cutting a ton of cups like I am, you're gonna wanna use some sort of heavier duty shears like these here. These are tin snips. They're fairly inexpensive and in my case, they, they just really help prevent blisters. So they're really good for this. I just cut three slots like this in kind of a triangle pattern and that'll be perfect for your drainage. Next, you're gonna want a pencil. Don't worry if you don't like school because you're not gonna be writing a test or taking notes. We're gonna be using this to pop out the seedlings from the seed tray. Now watch how easy this is. It's so simple. Pop, there you have it. A perfect pepper seedling ready for potting up. Once you have your seedling plug, just fill the cup with a bit of potting mix. Now this potting mix should be lightweight and airy. It should contain a good amount of perlite. What I personally do is I like to mix a high porosity mix with some uh, moisture control potting mix that contains fertilizer already in it. For peppers, I like the seed leaves to be level with the top of the cup. They don't develop roots along their stem as much as tomatoes, but they do a bit and it's really not gonna hurt them. Just kind of shake it to level it out. And I like to compact it slightly with my finger, not too much because you don't wanna damage the roots or prevent air from being able to get in there. Once you're done that, time for the next step. So the next step is real simple. Just take some lukewarm water and just gently water your plant. Try to deliver the water fairly slowly so you don't disturb the roots too much. And uh, make sure it kind of soaks down nice and deep, but you wanna make sure you don't drown it because obviously that wouldn't be good either. And that's it. It's super easy to transplant peppers or any type of seedling for that matter. Uh, then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna label it. Now you can use labels cut out from yogurt cups or you can buy labels or what I usually do is just write it on with a Sharpie. And that's what I usually do because cutting out hundreds of labels is really not something I wanna do. So that's my process for transplanting. It's simple and really it doesn't take much effort. It just takes a bit of time. Transplanting is important because it'll give your plants more room to grow and they can grow better and healthier than they can in those little tiny plug trays. So hope you enjoyed, hope you found it useful. And if you did, smack that like button and also don't forget to subscribe. If you've watched any of my recent videos, you know that this year I'm doing a big project. I'm gonna be growing a half acre vegetable garden. And so if you're interested in seeing that progress, make sure you tag along. It's gonna be an interesting challenge, so we'll see how it pans out. Thanks for watching. I'm Lucas from Lucas Grows Best, and I'll see you next time.